Abusha LGBTQ honse ma eko so ewo my gane a amane ho mene so aye di ho abubu bi a edwene ho e kire na adwene wo ho no enran so omu san so tena sa asemwe so ewo parliament a omu edwene kwan o mefa so na so meji atumu so omu nyi ntumu ewo gana ho no omu san so kwetena so edwene ho na video bi a mebo a kire o menti menti no ma bi ase e omu a omu se be o no ye mpa ase se de be ya sa de ne nko so wo gana no omu no ti se and one more 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 interview, so at the sea. Now, what's your question? More 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 interview, ni a bus or more. Me busa me me hose. Now, sir, no more more tihan of force. So, sir, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm say, because I'm going to say, so dear. And you also move up and crum. No more cast idea you cry, you can't watch him because you're very important issues. So, what's your discussion? I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to and go for ye, but you fast, and you say, Kim, send go for a there be a yenisa, a concon hockey. So what I say, went to my job, my life for my concon ho, or be a bonny, and I'm not from my apostle, I'll quite be quite do between your man one hundred and forty years on conquer them. Walk walk with them, to what I say. It will more material no movies away, more questions, and all. Say, me patcho, Ura, I didn't know I see my engine too, na say, ni say, ni say, ni say, no, yes, I say, Nasan won't know with that question if for us or when you're gone, and I say, I mean, just as it's important that this bill is appreciated by everyone in this country. Reason being, one of the things this bill does is to protect our kids. Recently, the headmistress of Ola Girls could take it no more. And she's not the only headmistress. Several heads of schools are complaining about persons actively forming clubs under the guise of civil society organizations and offering commissions to students to recruit other students into lesbianism and homosexuality. How can this be said to be the privacy of two consenting adults? Two consenting adults get into the business of offering commission for the corruption of another man and woman's child? How can this be allowed to go on in our country? And Mr. Speak, Mr. Chairman, let no one tell you that they offer or they pose no threat to society, which lists the laws of Ghana, including um, the common law of Ghana, which is explained to include our customary laws. And you have clearly cited our customary law as one that frowns upon LGBTQ activities. Don't you think the Constitution plus Section 104 of Act 29 has already done the job you are seeking to do? In respect of the Criminal and Other Offenses Act, there is some criminalization angle to the whole matter. Then you have the constitution of the land, which is very clear. Why do you want to take us through this whole exercise again? I'm very grateful, uh, Honorable Chair. Act 29, Section 104, deals with a natural canal knowledge. And if you look at the definition of canal knowledge in Banosin versus the... Honey, hold on, please. I would want us to take some three questions and then you answer them more. Honorable Pankroma. Welcome. Chairman, thank you for the opportunity. Um, I have two questions for the proponents of the bill. Um, the first comes from commentary, public commentary, that aligns very much with what my uh, good friend on the other side has just mentioned, that this bill is motivated primarily by an attempt of the pro-LGBT community to influence uh, the Ghanaian society in a manner that is adverse to Ghanaian culture. And that if the proponents of this agenda were to let sleeping dogs lie. There will be no need to push further with this legislation. It's one of the views that um, I have come upon in my research prior to this uh, meeting. And I want to see if the uh, proponents will be willing to make a comment on that. Is that a fair view? That this is because they are pushing for it. And that if they keep the agenda to themselves, 
there will be no need to go further in this particular enterprise. That's one of the views. Your memorandum indicates that Article 39 of the Constitution provides that the state should take steps to encourage the integration of appropriate customary values into the fabric of national life and prescribes the mode by which the state shall do so through formal and informal education and the conscious introduction of cultural dimensions to relevant aspects of national planning. That's what Article 39.1 says and the mode by which it prescribes that the state takes measures to encourage integration of appropriate customary values into the fabric of our national life. It doesn't talk about punitive legislation. So why are we going down this path, citing that as a rationale for the passage of this bill? Secondly, I see that the definition of Ghanaian family values could be problematic if we were to pass this bill in the form in which it is and seek to enforce it. It includes respect for the sanctity of marriage as a lifelong relationship between a man and a woman, each of whose gender is assigned at birth lifelong relationship. So any attempt to disturb that lifelong relationship could be subject to the punitive sanctions prescribed under this bill. And so I've made the argument that slay queens, be careful. Sugar mummies and daddies, stand still, because you could be the unintended victims of this bill as we seek to encourage and promote respect for the sanctity of marriage as a lifelong relationship between a man and a woman. It also talks about the duty to uphold the cherished societal ideals of selflessness, communalism, good neighborliness, hard work, discipline, truthfulness, compassion towards the weak and vulnerable, acquisition of wealth through hard work and general entrepreneurship, all very admirable traits. But how do you legislate good behavior? How would you punish a lazy person under the auspices of this bill? Because it is not one of the cherished societal ideals. I'm a bad neighbor. Hey, I don't like people. Should I be thrown into jail for two to four months because I'm a bad neighbor? Truthfulness, that will catch almost everybody under the ambit because most of us are prone to tell lies, white, black, green, blue, whichever form you, 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 you take it. So there may be unintended consequences of this bill, not even looking at the sexual aspects of it, but the promotion of Ghanaian sexual values aspect of it. The definitions are way too broad, too encompassing, and can rope in people that we don't intend into their net. And so, what do you make of the definitions that you've prescribed in there? And intersex, to be included as one of the crimes that uh, are being, that the bill envisages. Someone who is born that way. There may be only one or two percent of people who fall under this category, but they recognized that they don't have any clearly defined sexual characteristics at birth. Why are they to be criminalized for being born that way? Because they are intersex. And they are clear, even your definition of intersex is also problematic. It includes anyone who has a biological anomaly, including a person who is intersex. Biological anomaly. Okay, I'm born with one hand shorter than the other. 
That's a biological anomaly. I fall within the ambit of this definition. Is that what the proponents of the bill intended? And if not, it will be the duty of this committee to look at the each, at the wording of this bill and propose um, corrective measures. Thank you. To your question, as <laughs> law usu, any information minister, no, but probably or to you, Busa, yeah, me do not want me to mean to ask it. So, or more questions, no more, Busa say, Adiano or Munya or Ghana, and ask who moves up because I say, or Muna, a chairman on board, and to know so who moves up question, mean to ask him nothing. As law usu was more working. Or sans to incite the public you know, against or more bill or more passes, I build the crack of the best idea. I want to phone you. What is a more can? Who comment in a sea and go for Sale? My moons we a lesbian, my moons we a lesbian, a comment and go for a church or a cell. No, because of question of Kubisa in tea. Some doors question of Kubisa, some door in tea. So, and she won't go for the abbey. Still, no, no, Muntia, more parliamentarians. Now, Adam wants to be a bit too more horn, Sabby. Parliament when it be so early search and go for to home. Eighty thousand dollars was used to purchase that office. As we sit here now, there are NGOs who have been funded and are doing community uh, push for the LGBT movement. There is a lot of activity pushing for this. So I can't understand where how somebody can, who is engaged in something that from all the scientific evidence we've thrown here, clearly is problematic. And I can tell you, no real homosexual will want to stay in what he's doing. Because having sex through the anus, using the penis through feces, how can that be proper? Or a lady opening herself up to be licked by animals. That can't be right. Let me ask so you. if the person says, I want to stay in it, then he needs help. Let me ask you another question. Yes. Are you aware of oral sex? Yes. Are you aware that this bill criminalize, yes. uh, criminalizes it? We say we are criminalizing oral sex between same sex persons. That is what. That is no. That no, is no. what. That no, is no, what. No. no we that, say if you look at the law, the law actually no, indicates. No, this bill is proposing that. Yes, it's proposing oral sex is abnormal. No, 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 no. Yes, we, it's one of the. Well, no, the but what we, what we are saying. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, now, would, now, now you, 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 you go back. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I was not going to, I, I couldn't respond to it, but the proponents <laughs> of the bill will want to probably help. But I'm indicating that in the law, the definition under Section 6 of what constitutes uh, LGBT plus activities are all listed there. And wow. we state that it's oral sex between same sex partners. That is what we have criminalized. That is what we've criminalized. But if you look at Section 104, even anal sex between uh, so-called heterosexuals, I don't, I don't want to think that it is the opposite of the other. Ah, heterosexuals are the opposite of uh, what you call homosexual. It's just like saying, me sitting here, and you know, Mr. Chairman, let me, let me just explain something to you. For example, as I sit here, as I sit here, I'm not the opposite of Esla sitting there. I'm an albino. Albinism is a recessive gene. She is the normal gene. She is the straight gene. Right? So I'm indicating that at the end of the day, you cannot say that I'm her opposite. No, that's not how you got to put it. So it is not as if to say uh, heterosexuals are the opposite of homosexual uh, uh, activity. No, that, that shouldn't be the case. If it's, and if somebody doesn't want to be helped, then clearly he's gone beyond what he's doing. And he needs uh, to be restrained from, uh, you know, doing acts that will be contrary to what our society and our values admit. An example is the kleptomania I've referred to. Can I deal quickly with Esla's question about recantation? Now, the word recant just means you resile from your position. And we will actually, the process of recantation is not new. Currently in Finland, there is a law that say, that bans what they call hate speech. If a Christian states a Christian position as to the fact that the Bible disallows homosexual activity, that is considered to be hate speech. There's a member of the British, uh, the Finnish parliament who's currently being prosecuted. And the law says that if the, the, that offender recants, he, they use the same word, recant, then he can be admitted to probation. So it is not a new word. And the word just means you move away from that position. And the supervision from uh, saying that you've recanted will be done under proper psychological help so that people don't use this as an excuse uh, to run away from the punishment. Now, if you look at the structure of the law, the structure of the law is to ensure because 
the homosexual strategy, as we have identified, is that we distinguish between those who are genuinely homosexual, the ones that have been described, through peer pressure, hormonal problems, uh, what's it called, uh, 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 psychosocial problems. Those people are the ones we want to guide away from that behavior. And from all the experience this coalition has had over eight years of dealing with hundreds of homosexuals, not one have we found to be the classic way, uh, you know, example, oh, I don't want to be helped. They all want help. Those are the ones we want to guide away. So even when they are in, during investigation, during arrest, during uh, sentencing, even incarceration, if they realize that, oh, there's a problem, and they say they need help, then there will be no incarceration. So really, the purpose of the law is to guide those who really need help to come and seek the help that they want. But those who want to fund it, who want to promote it, who want to advertise it, why would you want to promote something you are prohibiting? And the data and the statistics are clear on how promotion, and, I mean, we are talking about glamorization. If you say you like it, you love it, you wouldn't change, and you are allowed to form clubs in schools, in uh, colleges, that is a push. Uh, my dear sister talked about 97%. Why are the 3% threatened? Sweetheart, if you go to your school at Infanseman, it is getting worse. If you go to Infanseman, we were there for two weeks. If you go to Wesley Girls, if you, it is getting worse by the day. The evidence that we see is that in the secondary schools and in the universities, there's a pileup. And since we started this campaign, we have been inundated. You have no idea the number of these young people that we need to guide away from such a behavior. And if we don't, the strategy of the LGBT more, you saw the agenda. They have brought money into this country. In fact, $200 okay. million. Of dollars. I think just we've had enough well, of well, you, and you've really made your point. At this juncture, I think uh, you are becoming emotional. Sorry about that. Oh, but not really. you have educated us a lot. Well, Mr. Chairman, I don't. I, I'm not uh, too oh, sure sorry, about the word. You are becoming emotional. passionate. Well, yes. Mr. Chairman, Esla is more passionate than I am. <laughs> and two, she hasn't spoken two, yet. No, she has. She has. And she I take it. I, I take it. I take it that. I take it that you are not say, using the word so, passionate as being pejorative. Yeah. And let so, me explain, uh, Mr. Chairman. No, I, if you I'm can trying give me a to second. cut you because, because it's time for lunch. No, you should allow me to, to speak. You see, I am passionate because I see these people on a daily basis. Now you see, yes, people, I'm believe, explaining. Yes, people I, believe in what you are saying. People don't believe in what you are saying. Very few of them. And yes, yes. even if it is one person. That is and so. we here, as a committee, we have a responsibility to listen to everybody and make our judgments. That is so. But the so committee... we've had enough of what you have said, even to the extent of explaining medically the consequences of all this. Yeah. And uh, psychology, from the psychological point, from the mental point of view, from the physical point of view, this is a well-researched well, uh, well. uh, position. So we are grateful, but we see members of parliament, I'm not saying we are old, but Honorable <laughs> Avuka is amongst us. <laughs> well, so Mr. Chairman, we, I, I, we can I just have already a... exceeded our time, okay. and we may want to break for lunch now. Uh, and uh, we would have to break for it's 1433. comment news. Obaso now very important. Near Timio, who know my work, Cosso or Ghana, and pay for your program, comment on Mokaipa, a good day or Ghana for a dream. It will comment very important to us. Yamisha, wait to my share, no be swinging, be a hurry. We did your corner about watching.